What the fuck do you mean, Knuckles and Sonic 3? Isn't that just called Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Well... No. I mean, Knuckles and Sonic 3 standalone. Now you may be asking, how the fuckle did you put Knuckles and Sonic 3 standalone? Well, it's easy. Using glitches using the Sonic and Knuckles collection, you could actually get Knuckles playing in Sonic 3 standalone due to various factors. Because the Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles collection is technically based off the of Sonic and Knuckles, there's actually leftover data for Knuckles in Sonic 3. Using a save editor, you could actually play as Knuckles, and by extent Blue Knuckles, in Sonic 3. You can also play as Knuckles without modifying any files just by using glitches. I'll show you how to do it later, but if you want to read up on it a little more, I'll link the Sonic Retro link in the description where I actually figured this out. I suggest giving it a read. It's a little bit brief, but I just want someone to make a video about this. I think it's cool, but yeah. But before we start, I just want to say, yes, you could technically play the Sonic 3 layouts in Sonic 3 and Knuckles if you use Sonic 3 Complete or Sonic 3 Air. Yes, you could play as Knuckles in those. And yes, using old Sonic 3 Complete versions technically does make it so you can remove all the accommodations for Knuckles. But here's the thing. What's the fun in that? This is a lot more interesting. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, here we go. Sonic and Knuckles collection as Knuckles. In case you're wondering, those two save files are just blue Knuckles, just don't worry about it. So, before we do anything, we need to unlock the level select. Even though this is supposed to be Sonic 3 standalone, we're going to be doing the Sonic 3 and Knuckles version of the level select cheat. As I fucking struggle to get onto the vine, which is fucking stupid, I'm playing Monkey in the Mill anyway. Left, 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 right, right, up, 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 yada, yada, yada. You just do all R in order to reset the game because you can't do star A in this for whatever reason. That unlocks the level select. This is basically the same as Sonic 3's, except for the fact if you go to Special Stage 1, you get sent the blue sphere. If you go up to the stage thing up here, change it to Knuckles, press start, you're playing as Knuckles and Blue Sphere, which is normal enough. If you reset the game again, you're back in Sonic 3, which is normal, but whatever. Let's go back to the level select. And let's go to Angel on Act 1. Oh my god, it's Knuckles! If you look at that, we're Knuckles in Sonic 3. This has no magic in it, no bullshit. This is just legitimate Sonic 3 with Knuckles. Sonic 3 standalone, that is. Now, let me just answer a few questions. First off, why? Well, Sonic 3 standalone has a bunch of differences from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and even shit like putting the Sonic 3 standalone layouts into air doesn't really help that much. Like, it still has some accommodations for Knuckles. Like, this has, like, no accommodations at all. You just have to fuck around, really. Just to figure shit out. But yeah, I... The way this works is because this version of Sonic 3 is technically using the Sonic & Knuckles engine, they just put a bunch of Sonic 3 data in it. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's try Blue Sphere. Which sends us to the first level of Blue Sphere instead of the first special stage for some reason. Well, I guess we'll see what happens if I beat it. And we got the Chaos Emerald. And it sends us back to Blue Sphere, which is strange. Apparently, we're just back in Blue Sphere. I guess we'll have to reset the game again. Anyway, now that we're back in the game, let's try actually beating Angel Island Act 1. If you're playing original Sonic 3, and you try going down here as Sonic, you literally just go into Knuckles Act 2, so... I don't know. Well, it doesn't kill us immediately like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and there's a boss arena here for some reason. I could have sworn there wasn't anything here in original Sonic 3, but... okay. We have the actual Knuckles behavior of the boss, too, which I'm pretty sure was in the prototype anyway, so that kind of makes sense. And we can get through Act 1 perfectly fine, something that I honestly did not expect. Well, let's try Act 2. Our stupid checkpoint's there, the spikes are kind of fucked up. We're obviously using the Sonic 3 original layout, since we have that checkpoint there. It doesn't seem too different from the actual layout in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The prototype layout's a lot more fucking different than this, but... This seems perfectly fine, for the most part. The only checkpoint you really have is that one stupid one at the beginning. 
So, I guess we better not fucking die in this. Now, in case you're wondering, I did not discover this shit at all. Sonic Retro discovered this shit years ago. I just stole this off of their wiki and just decided to make a video of it because literally no one else cares. Using a save editor, you can also do some other weird shit like playing Flying Battery Zone, the rest of Sonic and Knuckles in Sonic. I'll get back to that later. As you can see, there's literally no boss here. There's nothing here. It's just the plat the platforms aren't even gone. Yeah. We're kind of soft locked here. So, I guess we'll reset. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I got this all off of Sonic Retro, yada yada yada. You could also play the rest of Sonic and Knuckles in Sonic 3 if you want to, which does some weird shit like all of the bonus all the special stage rings just give you 50 rings from what I've heard and it just plays like the ending like normal, and if you're doing this off as a save file and you beat the game before resetting the game, it just sends you to Marble Garden Zone and fucks up the palette. It's kind of weird. But yeah, Hydra City Zone seems to be identical because Act 1's just the same. At least, I'm pretty sure the layout's the same between Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 Knuckles, and Knuckles doesn't even have anything original to it anyway, so I guess we'll just skip through this. The boss is pretty much identical. I don't feel like testing if that fucking drowning bug still exists, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Considering this is based off of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, instead of Sonic and Knuckles. Let's try Act 2. Our Troll Spring is still there. We have our little layout differences. We have that Troll Spring, that one spike's gone. Hydra City Act 2 seems to be okay so far. Nothing bad seems to be going on. Let's just skip through a little bit. So there's no cutscene, obviously, since we're Knuckles. We can just go up here. There's a missing enemy there. This seems to be okay so far. I'm not even gonna attempt to see if those spikes down there work. I have a feeling they might, but at the same time I won't be surprised if they don't. No checkpoint here, and there's no boss. Well, unless we have debug mode, which I could technically do, but that I guess that's cheating. We could technically do that and make our way down to the Sonic version of the boss, and I'm pretty sure that'd still spawn, but I really can't be bothered. So, Marble Garden, here we come. So, Act 1. It's pretty much gonna be identical just because there's nothing really too special about Act 1 between Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and even then, this is another one of those levels with, like, no original routes anyway, so... Let's just skip ahead. After doing some zips, we get to the boss. Let's see if it has the behavior from the Knuckles fight. And it does! It surprisingly does. I have a feeling if we had the Hydra City Act 2 boss, I'm pretty sure that would still have the behavior from Knuckles' version, but... I don't know how that would even work, considering the fact that I'll be submerged underwater, so... It might be a good thing we didn't do that, but yeah, Act 1 seems to be fine other than the boss. Let's try Act 2. So, let's try Knuckles' path here. Let's see if this is fine. I know in the original Sonic 3, there's no boss that spawns here for some reason, so... Hopefully it spawns here, kind of like what happened with Angel Island Act 1, hopefully. This cutscene spawns, but I'm pretty sure it does even in the prototype, so I think... This isn't really anything special. Okay, this is different. There's usually... I'm pretty sure there's like a spinner there or something. I think. Yeah, this is a little different, but... Yeah, I think this is harder too. Like, Nah, this is easier actually. This is just a wall. I don't know why that platform's there. Knuckles can just break that. But maybe this was intended to be a Sonic path at some point? I don't know. You can see me trying to struggle to get up a fucking slope. Like, come on, get up there, dumbass. Thank you. Anyway, no boss. Well, that's stupid. Well, I guess we could try the Sonic path, I guess.
Fuck you, Twitter. If you're silly enough to make a social media account this weekend, you're a big enough goober to come to Wet Dry World. Cat Girls. Tim Sweeney Epic. If you think you're going to find a cis straight person on the Fediverse, you can pet my head. It's our belief that you're such a silly little fella, you'll migrate to this instance. Guaranteed. If you find a better instance, Fetty Block it's silly ass. You heard us right. Fetty Block it's silly ass. Bring your computer. Bring your girlfriend. Bring your Wii. We'll mod it. That's right. We'll mod your Wii. Because at Wet Dry World, you're jailbroken six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Wet Dry World. Home of Challenge Kissing. That's right, Challenge Kissing. How does it work? If you can kiss six cat girls in a row and not get blushed, you get free HRT. Don't wait, don't delay, don't fuck with us, or we'll bunk your head off. Only at Wet Dry World. The only instance that tells you... I'm Tim Sweeney. Hurry up, EP head. This event ends the minute after you make an account, and it better not micro to you're an extra silly goober. Go to hell. Wet Dry World. Macedon's gayest and most exclusive home of the nerdiest transgender cat girls this side of the Fediverse. Guaranteed. After running through the whole fucking stage again because I'm so stubborn that I didn't want to enable debug mode, let's try the Sonic Path. Trying to fucking wedge the top into this little hole here because for some reason I thought I can get this to work. I get hit by bubbles and just say fuck it and just keep going. I think. Hmm, can I hit this relief guy with just that? And then I realize I can just do this. But at the same time, I don't have any rings. So this last hit's going to be pretty fucking precise. I need to not get hit by the arrow, and I also need to hit that eye at just the right time. And I did it. That was fucking scary. <laughs> anyway, let's try the Sonic path. Egg Robo spawns here, just like how Eggman spawns with Sonic. Perfectly fine. Everything seems to be fine. Hopefully the boss still works. I'm pretty sure it works as Knuckles. And it does. We have a boss here. If you go out of bounds in the original Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you can technically do this too, but it's a lot easier here since you could actually reach the eye by normal means, or you could just do this as Knuckles and Tails in Sonic 3 Air, but... Tails comes in clutch here. For the only time in Knuckles' story, Tails just shows up for some reason, but... He comes in clutch, helps us defeat the boss here. And just like that, Marble Garn Act 2, it's a puzzle, but... Still beatable. Let's see if Carnival Knight's easy. So we just spawn through the Knuckles path. There's no clam guy there, but... This just seems to be the Sonic 3 Knuckles version of this path, just without any of the enemies for whatever reason. Well, this makes this easier than it already is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's three barrels here in the original Sonic 3 Knuckles as well, but... I've been playing Air too fucking much. Plus, I just released this whole mod pack that changes all the layouts to make it better anyway, so... Down link in the description if you want to download my mod, but here's the boss. Should just be identical to how it normally is. I don't see why this would be any different. Act 2 might give us some problems just simply because this just because the capsule might not spawn, but let's see. This barrel's an asshole. I fucking hate it. That's why I removed it. And again, no enemies. There's like is there any objects here other than rings? Yeah, there's no bumpers, no monitors, no... No cannon, no spikes. There's nothing here. Yeah, it's just the rings. There's nothing else here. Those monitors are still there. Yeah, this is even easier than it is in the original. Well, this technically is the original, but... This is a lot easier than it is just in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And as a result, you can see, like, the only other possible... 50,000 time bonus in the original game. Let's see if the transition from Carmel to Ice Cap works, which it does. We have the teleporter here, and the teleporter surprisingly spawns here. I don't think it does in the original Sonic 3, but then again, I'm pretty sure that just has something to do with the fact that I'm Sonic. It's all in the wrist action. Everyone in Daddy is dead. Huh? Let's see. Does the Knuckles boss exist? It transferred to the other part of the act perfectly fine. And there's no boss. Well, I guess Ice Cap's just one giant act then? I guess if I somehow managed to get my way up to the Sonic version of the boss, he'd be there, but... The Knuckles boss just doesn't exist. Well, it's a blessing in disguise, because I fucking hate fighting that boss's Knuckles anyway. It's just it's just a fucking drag. It's so annoying. It just seems to be an earlier version of the final layout here, because... There's some ice spikes here that just don't exist. I think now we're in the Sonic area, so this should be a lot more finalized, so this should just be a lot easier now. Yeah, this is pretty much identical now. I'm pretty sure the 
special stage ring still down there. I should have checked the special stage ring was in the other part, but again, I didn't want to lose all my progress. I may have to go all the way back to Blue Sphere again. But yeah, let's see if the boss is here for Act 2, I guess. Or while we're in Act 1. The boss spawns here. We can fight the Act 2 boss in Act 1, quote-unquote. Fun fact, the boss arena inside of Ice Cap Act 1 is technically Act 2, so... If you die, then it actually just plays the Act 2 music for some reason. It's kind of strange, but... Yeah, just to fill up some dead air, here there's some random Sonic 3 trivia. Act 2 is fine. You can turn the animals into letters, which is funny, but... Yeah, we rescued all the letters, our alphabet suit safe. We can start Act 2 and go to Launch Base Act 1. This is where shit's actually gonna be interesting, because I know Launch Base's layouts in Sonic 3 Standalone are a lot different than they are in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's a lot harder. But that's just because I had to make Launch Base a final zone. In the regular Sonic 3 and Knuckles, this really isn't hard, but... In Sonic 3 alone, it's actually a little difficult. Like, I keep getting hit over and over. Part of it's just because I'm trying to rush through the fucking game, just because... I was fucking tired and just wanted to go to bed, but... Yeah, there's a few things in this lab that I actually kind of prefer, like the fact there's Eggman monitors, for example. I like that lightning shield there with Sonic, because you can just barely reach that other platform up there without having to use that teacup to the left. I don't know why they place it with invincibility, but... Yeah, outside the dickish enemy placements and shit, kind of like Metropolis Zone or whatever, like, this is actually pretty good. Like, since those spikes aren't there, you can kind of just climb up there, you can try to skip that, but... Maybe if I hit that enemy coming from the other way, that would be possible, or if I had, like, a really precise spin dash. But yeah, the roll lock kind of fucks with me there, so I don't think it's possible to really go up there. Which sucks, but it's whatever. As you can see, I keep gliding all over the place, because I keep thinking the enemy placements are like the Sonic 3 and Knuckles layout, which is stupid, but... You can kind of see how this is harder now. As a matter of fact, I died three fucking times just trying to get to the fucking boss. All because I'm a fucking idiot, I was tired, and I just wanted to fucking sleep. As you can see, I fucking tried to go that Orbanaut, got sniped by this Orbanaut, and killed myself on this little fucking cylinder thing here. I got a little farther next time, but this asshole killed me. For some fucking reason, I have no clue how I let that happen, but... I really shouldn't have died that much. But yeah. This wall's still here, I don't have, like, the building that Sonic has to climb up, the camera locks here, just like the actual Sonic 3 Knuckles. I'm pretty sure a checkpoint's still on the left, but I'm not gonna try it. And there's no boss here! Great. Well, this is a problem. I guess we could try Act 2. We spawn in Knuckles' area, which seems to be fine. It's kind of interesting, because Knuckles practically has his own Act 2 for launch base, but... All of this area is just not used in Sonic 3 standalone, and it's a little different from what actually is, like, in both Sonic 3, Knuckles, and Air, so this alone is actually pretty interesting. It's actually I think it might be a little easier, actually, if you ask me. Like, because it's an unfinished layout, there's, there's actually less obstacles. As I say that, I'm getting hit all the time, but yeah, this is actually relatively easy, if you ask me. There's a little bit of oddities here, but it just honestly just feels like an emptier version of the final layout. The water's still here. It's just a little puddle at the bottom, but... Yeah, the water also doesn't rise in this for whatever reason. I don't know why. Like, that pipe that I just hit, it's supposed to make the water start rising, but it just doesn't here for whatever reason. Which does some weird shit once you get to see the water in the background. Like, it kind of looks like soda or something. Like, the underwater part here is all brown and shit, but the above ground pal, it's like, fine. Also, since that Orbanaut's there, I decided to damage boost and just get up to that teacup there. Let's see if we can fight Sonic's boss, just for the hell of it. Thanks for hitting me, you asshole. I don't think I'm gonna get up to that fire shield, so let's just keep going. Well, let's see if we can fight this guy. Eggman's here for some reason, pulling his flying battery shenanigans before flying battery. Before flying battery was even a thing, to be honest. Well, it was a thing, but I digress. We also can't damage him for whatever reason. Knuckles jumps a little too low for this boss, so I guess he just can't, you can't fight him, so... I'm just gonna have to kill myself just so I can actually try the Knuckles area. Maybe I'll have better luck there. After getting blackballed, let's... Oh god damn, I have to fucking go through the whole level again. Well, this is a short level. 
After going through the entire fucking level again, let's try the Knuckles Pass. Little strange without the water, but hey, this pipe actually works, despite the layering problems. After hit making damn sure I hit that checkpoint, let's see if the Knuckles boss exists. And it doesn't. Great. Well, I have another idea then. Let me just climb down this pipe and just make sure I'm all lined up and shit, and let's try aiming for the Eggmobile behind the boss for Sonic. Let's see if we can land in there. Maybe then we can get to the Knuckles- Maybe then we can get to the bosses. After Knuckles just does a handstand in the Eggmobile, I might have went a little too far to the left, but hopefully it's okay. After jumping out of the Eggmobile, I fucking die because for some reason it just warps me way the fuck over there. With my one life left, I decided to give this another shot. I really think it's just because I loaded the boss. Well, the first boss, the one with the ball. I feel like I just loaded that one. I think if I don't load it, then it should be okay. Like, if you saw the Eggmobile, it went from all fucked up to being perfectly fine. Let's just try riding in the fucked up version. Yeah. Yeah, it's not playing the boss thing. I think I think it has something to do with the fact that I load the boss, so. After riding in this fucked up Eggmobile, things are looking a little better. And we did it. We can fight a fucked up Egg Robo now. Eggman is gone. After fighting this fucked up Egg Robo, let's see if Big Arm even exists. I don't see why he wouldn't, but we can try it. There goes the fucked up Egg Robo. And... Big Arm exists. Let's see if he uses Sonic's pattern. Or Knuckles' pattern. And he's using Sonic's pattern. That's actually kind of strange. This might be the one boss in the whole game that doesn't matter in terms of what character you're playing as for the pattern, instead the location of the boss. I know Big Arm has two locations where you can spawn at. One up in Knuckles' boss area and one over here, but... Yeah. This seems to be about the same as Sonic's boss fight. I almost lost my rings a few times, but this should still be relatively simple. And I think one more hit will do it. And there we go. We beat Sonic 3 with Knuckles. In the complete wrong context. Let's see if he has an ending. It's trying to play the Sonic 3 ending with Knuckles. It's definitely trying something. For reference, if you try doing this in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it just does that same shit that happened with the first attempt at trying to get over here. It just warps you way the fuck to the right. Like, Eggman- like, Egg Robo tries bombing the place and... yeah. And the game crashed. But, yeah. If you try doing that in the original Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you have Egg Robo trying to bomb the place as usual, but... The camera ends up just warping up way the fuck over here, and you just go to Mushroom Hill as normal. You don't try getting a Knuckles Sonic 3 ending, but because it's tried doing a Knuckles Sonic 3 ending and there's no sprites for Knuckles here, it just crashes. And as a result, your ending's just killing the game. I hope you're proud of yourself. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the video, yada yada yada. I'll upload again at the end of the year, I think. Maybe. I don't know.